Hey there, Angie Gady with I Feel the Rush coming to you from Athelstein, Wisconsin, the beautiful north woods of Wisconsin. We are away from home this weekend, up north, enjoying the beautiful weather. You can see the blue sky, it's been amazing. So, we're doing something a little different today. I am pre-scheduling pre this live on Facebook because I wanted to share with you something that I've been working on that I've really been thinking about for a long time and wanted to share it with you. So we have a tree house we built for the kids and now the kids are growing. So it's um, a little outgrown for the little kids. We use it a little bit for hunting, kind of just watching deer, you know, different things like that and animals. And we've turned it into something brand new just for the adults. Well, for everybody really. It's more of a community place now because we've turned it into a coffee shop. In the spirit of our trip to Sweden, we decided to change it to a coffee shop and I'm going to let you in on a little secret, an additional thing that I'm going to be doing to it, uh, maybe the next time I come up. But this is what we have as of today. Now, keep in mind, we're in the woods. This is rustic. This is home away from home for us, but no electricity and no power up here. So it is a place where you can come and enjoy the woods, enjoy the peace in the morning and the evening at dusk when the deer come in. And um, I just wanted to share it with you. So here we go. Let me know in the comments. Uh, or private message, what you like, what you would recommend we change. Maybe there's something that you see as far as a possibility for this place because the sky is the limit when it comes to places like this. What I really wanted to do is inspire you to think about maybe you have a tree house that your kids don't use anymore. Don't let it sit out there by itself and be lonely. Turn it into a place that you can enjoy and it's so simple. A little paint, a few pictures, some imagination, and it's going to be amazing. So here we go. All right. So bear with me as I hold this camera here. What we have, as you can see, the front of the tree house. We have a little ladder and I brought back from Sweden this beautiful Swedish flag. So we decided to hang that there. Yes, you will notice a bike. I'm turning the bottom into something else and I'll explain that to you after. But what I really want to show you is the actual tree house and what I've done with it. So as we walk along here, you'll see we have some stepping stones that Trey Leon gave to us. That one has ducks. This one has a moose. And this one has a fish. Very welcoming as you make your way up the ladder here to the tree house. And again, I'm going to try to hold this camera as best I can because I'm holding it a little awkwardly. So we have our doorway here. I didn't even have a door before this weekend. So what I did was we took an old small pallet and we just refaced it using some birch bark. Now I have to add an additional piece of birch bark there, but you get the idea. Now we're going to open this and we'll give you your first peek into the initial stages of what we've done to the treehouse. So as you can see here, we have that beautiful little basket there. And actually I'm gonna be putting some walking sticks in there. So that's a nice dry place to keep our walking sticks. Keeps them safe because sometimes we like to carve them and whatnot. I have that cute little bench. And actually um, I'm going to paint the word Fika on it. And that is Swedish for coffee or coffee break, which is ultimately what this room is going to be for. So I wanted to, to have the feel of Sweden and the spirit of Sweden. Over there in the corner, you can see a, <laughs> it's um, a sampling of what I planned for the kitchen area in here. Well, like a little table and some stools that has fur on it. So I'm gonna walk you over there in just a moment to let you really get a close view of that as I climb up in here because I'm climbing the ladder. So then over here now that I'm actually going to be painting the front of it and I'm going to write coffee shop or some sort of coffee themed thing on that. But I bought that when it was on super sale. So I wanted to mention it because keep that in mind when you see frames on sale that you like, you can always paint the inside. Now this shelf eventually is going to be some sort of holder for books or whatnot, but uh, what we have here are some little firefly lamps that I did uh, a few years ago. I painted the inside of these jars, blue and green, and then I sponged on these little dots here. They're supposed to represent fireflies. So 
You put a little candle in there or some greenery, pencils, whatever you might need while you're up in the treehouse. And although this sign is amazing, be obsessively grateful, I am. So it is uh, an amazing saying to have up in the treehouse here. I may leave that alone as it is because I do like the idea of the gratefulness while you're out here, but I may decide to paint that or maybe put a picture in it as well. We have the Swedish flag again. I really just wanted to embrace that, the feel of being in Sweden because it was just such an amazing trip. I really wanted to embrace that feeling and the 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 feeling of fika and time together uh, with friends and just enjoying, you know, a little goodie and a beverage. So you can have whatever beverage if you want in here. It is a coffee shop, but in the evening you could also switch to other beverages if you so desire. There, the sky is the limit. And when we're talking about the sky, I'm going to show you my branch up here. So what I did was I just took a branch. We were out in the woods cutting things down. So I cut this nice branch and then I applied some little battery operated lights. So in the evening when I was in here, I turned on those battery operated lights and it created such a beautiful glow. It was amazing. And I really love it. Another idea I wanted to mention, if you have something like this, like a little treehouse, you could also paint the ceiling black and take these little firefly lights and staple those right to the ceiling. So that's another way you can kind of create this um, uh, stars in the sky effect, if you will. But it might be a good idea. I'm going to head to the corner here and show you. I've added screen to this whole window. Now, this was not screened in before, but I did that for a couple different reasons. My nose is running. I got some allergies going on. Um, I did it for a couple different reasons. When we're up in the treehouse, you'll notice that on this other side, it's also open. Now, right down here, you probably can't see it very well, but that's where the deer like to visit. We keep a dish of water down there. We put some minerals and then we have a trail camera down there so we like to watch the deer at night but while we're watching them as you can see they would be watching us so what we like to do is um, i added this screen because it kind of adds a little bit of a barrier between them and i and then on the opposite side like i was showing you that's open i screened it in over here as well but i also used yard liner and i just tied it up so i'm just going to pull this so you can see it I used yard liner and I made that so that I can just pull those down and then it adds additional background. So it's black on this side and then it's just screen on this side so that way the deer can't see me. And I'll tell you that I was working on this on Saturday night and I had the lights on, I had other candles going, I was using the staple gun. And all of a sudden I heard some crunching and I looked over and sure enough, there was a mother with her baby down there. And so clearly for the first time in almost 10 years that I've been using this tree house, the deer could not see me. She kind of identified that something was going on, but even with the lights, it was amazing that she stuck around. So it worked. So like I mentioned, I have some ties here. So I tie it back. Um, and then on this side, I'm sorry, I'm moving around a lot. I want to show you everything. On this side, I'm actually going to be adding magnets. So if you're thinking about doing that, I'm adding magnets so I can just magnet it down. And then when I'm hunting, because this is also not only my she shed, my coffee shop, it is also a tree stand. So um, I can actually pull this up. And then as you can see, that will all be open for hunting, you know, whenever, whenever necessary. The background I did close up, but we don't hunt on that side. So that is the window situation. Then we have just a little bit of decor. My favorite, um, like reindeer here. Um, just a little bit of a decor. I'm in the process of adding this shelf here. I'm not done with that, but this is old wagon siding. So I'm actually going to probably pull these wagon sides off of here and then extend it in, but that side isn't finished quite yet. So I just love to refurbish, um, use old vintage pieces, use materials. There's no sense in buying everything brand new, not only because we're up in the woods, but just because it gives it such um, a warm ambiance when you use, you know, 
refurbished materials. So we try to do that whenever possible to keep costs down as well. I found this cool little vintage stand um, at a resale shop. So this again is super inexpensive. And as you can see, I have some chalk paint down here. So I'm going to use that um, to paint this maybe just on the top, seal it so I can use that as a tabletop. I'm keeping some books up in here just because I like books. I like to have books around. Um, but I will get you closer to the little stool. I wanted to show that to you in particular because it was the most exciting project I planned to work on this whole weekend. So I will show you now, I will confess, it isn't done and I don't have the whole set done like I wanted to but I had a little bit of a situation with the, with the screwdrivers and the, all of that kind of stuff. But what I will show you is, so we went around and found some trees in the back lot that had this nice V intersection here. And actually this one's a triple, as you can see, has a nice base to be sitting on. Now, obviously you want to take extra care in making sure that your seats are secure. Um, so I'm not actually using this as a seat quite yet because the base has to be finished um, as far as being secure for people to sit. But basically all it is is a slab of wood. So we took the chainsaw and cut a few slabs of wood. And then you guys know how much I love fur, but this is actually faux fur. I didn't want to leave real fur out here um, just because it's more valuable to me than fake fur. Um, so we have some faux fur here and I just cut it around the shape of this wood and then I stapled it on around the edge. I stapled it a few times in the center, not rocket science, super, super simple. Um, but you can do a few different things I'm trying to show you here. I left the edges open so that you could actually see the log, but you could cover the log too. I mean, you could wrap this all the way around the side if you wanted to, but I actually wanted to see the cool because you guys know how much I love moss and all those little goodies. I love the natural look of this stool. So that's a little sneak peek. That's super cute. So this fur, maybe, maybe this is $10 worth of faux fur and the wood was free, obviously. So that's it. So that's my stool. I'm going to put him back in the corner. Get back in there. Okay. So my plan is to make a table to match that without the fur. I'm just going to stain that and then I'm going to make a few more stools. So that's it. I mean, that's it, but it's amazing. It took me a few days to do little by little and get this all together, but I'm just going to kind of turn this so that you can actually see all the way around 360 here. There's my window with my black covering and the screen. And we've got my basket down there for my walking sticks. This is going to have some plastic tubs in there to protect from the mice and all the kind of animal wood, woodland animals that live out here that like to wreck my stuff. Um, some more goodies there. All the way around, there's my stool. There's my flag. And there's the other side of my screened in porch. And I'll show you from up here what my walking way looks like down there. See? So you can see my cute little uh, walking pad there up to the tree house. And then here's my door. Now the other side, confession here. This is the other side of the birch bark. So I'm going to put more birch bark on this side so that it looks more finished. So that's it. That's it in all its glory. This is the Northern um, Coffee Shop. And like I was telling you to, um, when we were down below, when you saw my bike sitting down there, I got that bike for $2. So when I'm up north, I like to also have an opportunity to bike. And usually I didn't have that because we're usually four wheeling and all that kind of stuff. So I bought that bike and down below, I'm going to use all my screens that I purchased also, some old vintage screens, and I'm going to screen that, and that's going to be the bike shop. So I'm, I'm making plans for that at the end of the month. So once that's available, once I have that done, or maybe I'll just show you a progress video at the end of the month, um, I'll show you that. So it's going to be the full kit and caboodle. It's going to be the bike shop, the coffee shop. Gosh, it's going to be amazing. 
So thank you so much, everybody. I know this is a little different than what I normally do, but I just wanted to kind of give you a little peek into what we like to do in our private time. So here we are in the Northwoods. So thank you so much for you always visiting me on Thursday nights. Um, again, I'm usually online on Facebook Live, uh, 7 o'clock Central, I'm sorry, 8 Central on Thursday nights. And uh, you can find me here. If you have any questions, send me a private message, drop it in the comments, and I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much to all of you. Um, we're building a beautiful community of people who love the outdoors and love to make memory decor. And um, it's just amazing. So thank you so much for being with us. And uh, I really appreciate all of you. And I hope you have a great night. Thank you. Bye.